climate change expert, my idea and suggestion to the communities and inhabitants of this environment is that they should start thinking on how best they can prevent and mitigate the effects of climate change in the years ahead. And this will, this will have to do with them limiting how they dispose of waste, especially plastic and other solid waste, and how they block and fill the runoffs from drainages. So proper drainages must be created by the individuals and proper disposal of waste should be in place by the individuals and their households as well as in conjunction with the government of this, of this state. There should be a proper policy that is meant to organize a proper environment, environment that will lead to the mitigation of complete stoppage of this in the future. And I'm hoping that this message will go clearly to this individual. You can see this gentleman here up here that we have just talked with him. He's certainly very bitter because he's a fisherman and he lives on this fishing business on daily. And he's finding it very difficult now to get his daily meal because of the effects of this flood. It is practically difficult for him to fetch fish from this river because the river doesn't have the quality. Most of the aquatic life in this river are already dead used to be limited at that point and of course a very shallow river in the part of the northern part of Nigeria in Sub-Saharan Africa. It's practically very impossible and of course absurd to have found this river from a flooding in someone right about a kilometer away from its natural block, its natural course. Telling you that there's effect as well as the part of the so devastating. And we need to understand that the the coronary of this kind of activity that has led to this our flooding of this river. So it's of course a serious issue that individuals of this environment need to start learning and understanding that for them to prevent the occurrence of this kind of flood, they need to go back to their homes and know how to take care of their environments because this is certainly some of the causes of this are poor management of waste poor dumping of solid waste, especially plastic bags, plastic materials that have covered all the runways and drainages and gutters that ought to have canalized this water to move smoothly after the rain falls. It is now a serious calamity for the past three days ahead of the Islamic feast of Eid al-Kabir, that's the feast of the Rab. It's practiced so many people, thousands of people are Place and most of them are not even in their homes. A few of these, we are, we are suggesting and encouraging individuals, households under the government of this state to take it as a serious matter of consideration that in all their policy drafting, all their policy decisions, environmental policy decisions should be very, very critical and paramount. One, the individuals should start limiting the disposal of waste improper disposal of waste around the environments that certainly will cause blockages of the runoffs so that each time it rains we can have fast flow of water running off into the, into the main streams and going very fast. We should stop improper disposal of waste. The households should make it very very uh, serious as a response, uh, issue of responsibility to take into consideration the household should take it as a responsibility to prevent this kind of flood in the near future by implementing good environmental pro, uh, programs, making sure that individuals don't dispose waste anyhow, as we can see trash all over here. This should not happen again, failures to prevent it by waste dumping, unnecessary waste dumping and improper waste disposal. So I hope this will sing a, a sound message into the ears of the individuals as well as the community people in these communities and the government of this state as well as the government of Nigeria and entire governments of Africa should understand that flood is not only a problem of Kaduna state it is not only a problem of Nigeria it is a global problem that we should have a global approach to this so we can prevent floods we can prevent natural disasters like flood by our own human activities, by the kind of responsible practices, the kind of responsible approach we have to our environment.
Honorable Murtala Shima representative me na national na majority leader Shima saboda zuwan mai girma shugaban kasa ya turo shi domin ya wuce shi barka da zuwa Murtala sannan to yanzu zamu kira mai girma hakimi wanda ya zo domin sa mana albarka a wannan taro ranka yi dai a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim muna miƙa godiyar mu idan video wannan Muhammad Jauda kware da yawa ana kokarin yanzu a shukar shatuwa sai gashi Allah ya taimake mu da wayansu mutane masu zuciya sun kawo mata da cin har gida domin samu addasa ko ina mana yamma sarakunan mu barka da zuwa mana yamma sarakunan kafin barka da zuwa mana yamma shugabannin makarantu barka da zuwa maza da mata duk wanda Allah ya ba shi ikon halarta wannan jaridu duk wanda Allah ya ba shi ikon halarta wannan wuri Allah ya taimake shi kuma Allah ya kara taimakon sa muna so ko wani lokaci irin wannan alhairi ya zama na cikin zukatan mutane ashe al'amarin shukan itace fa kamar shukan mutum ne in ka shuka itace lalle lalle ne ba da makaranta kamar headmaster da principal na wancan makaranta asa ido a tabbatar da yara ba su lalata wannan shuka ba za a ka da hidin wannan shuka mutaren Allah ya ba mu yawa rai har sun tashi kuma muna fata wanda duk ya dauki wannan ido a za a ba wanda duk su halarci wannan wuri masu bukata su je gidan su shuka wannan itatuwa domin in ya tashi zai taimaka wa al'umma ana nan yanke amfani ne don Allah kada a kiwoya wanda duk ya dauka aka ba shi itacen nan ko a kofar gidan shi ko a cikin gidan shi ko a gefe gidan shi ya kokari ya shuka shi shuka itace abu ne mai alhaili abu ne mai mai tsawon lada ko da mutun ya mutu inda ya shuka itace jama'a suna shan inuwar sa Allah na bashi lada saboda haka nan kar a kar a karfi wannan itace a yi wasa da shi kashi wannan mutumin wanda ya kawo mana itacen nan ya iya kar kokarin sa kuma muna fata jami'an tsaron mu Allah ka wasu wannan wuri duk Allah ya ba su ikon ko ba a cikin lafiya manyan manyan matan mu da Allah ba su halarta halar wannan taro kuma Allah ya saka musu alheri Allah ya bayyana su lafiya muna fata duk wanda ya zo nan cikin farin ciki Allah ya bayyana shi farin ciki muna fata wannan itatuwa da za mu shuka Allah ya sa mu ji amfanin su na gode na gode na gode